How would you like to improve the quality of your marketing on Facebook? If so, this is the tutorial you're going to want to check out. I'm going to introduce you to a tool that will improve the quality of the images and everything that you're doing so that you get better results and more leads with your marketing on Facebook. Check this out. Hello, my name is Kevin Smolin with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. And if you are new to the channel, we appreciate you being here. What we are all about is we help real estate agents market their business so that they dominate in digital media. So if you'd like to learn more tips, more strategies, more tricks to generate more leads and more business, then this is the channel you wanna check out. Please consider subscribing, we'd love to have you here. In today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is a little bit different than what I typically do. Uh, typically, I'm gonna be showing you methods and strategies and campaigns of how to be generating more leads, and today's a little bit different. Today's I'm going to give you a tutorial, a walkthrough of one of my favorite tools that I use pretty much every single day in my business, and that is Canva. So C-A-N-V-A dot com. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and share my screen and uh, show you what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this uh, how to use Canva to be able to market your business on Facebook. Um, and granted, there's lots of applications. What I'm going to be showing you, you can use in lots of other places besides just Facebook. Um, but that's what I'm going to be focusing on primarily during this tutorial. So uh, what you're seeing here is a screenshot of my Facebook page. Uh, so this right here, this long rectangular image, this is called the cover photo. And this was completely designed using Canva. Uh, you'll notice that one of the strategies I like to use is using the cover photo to draw attention to the call to action button. The reason for this is this is one way that you can actually be generating leads directly from your page just using some of the images on your page. So you'll notice in my case, I'm offering a free course that when people click this button, it takes them to my website where they can, uh, here I'll just show you, that when people click that button, it takes them to my website where they can put in their contact information and get uh, this free course on how to be generating leads using Facebook. So that's one application um, showing you my Facebook page. Here's one of my clients, uh, her real estate page. And same concept, you'll notice that with this image, um, she's offering to uh, answer questions that people have. You could also just as well use this to drive people to your website to where they could search for properties or a, whole, a free market analysis. Um, and on and on and on. So a buyer's guide, a seller's guide, whatever it is that you have in your business that you use for marketing purposes, uh, you're going to be able to use this to drive people to this button uh, to where you can use that as a tool to generate leads. Now, I'm gonna show you how to create these images, these graphics, all of these, uh, both of these that you've seen so far, uh, they were both created right inside Canva. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So the website is canva.com. Feel free to uh, sign up there. It's a free account. They, all have, they also have paid accounts, but um, everything I've ever wanted to do, I've been able to do for free. So I highly recommend the free account if you want to pay for it. I guess that's your prerogative, um, but I, I normally don't. So with that, once you create your account and you log in, you're going to see a screen like this that says design anything. And if you come here and just type out Facebook, it's going to show you all the templates that they have. So what's one of the things that's fantastic about Canva is they have these pre-made templates. So you notice that the Facebook ad is 1200 by 628. The uh, Facebook cover, which is what this is, you'll notice the Facebook cover is 820 by 300, 312 pixels. So what's cool about this tool is it automatically formats everything to the proper dimensions that you need so that by the time you have your image created and you upload it, it's going to look fantastic. So um, you can do this with Facebook posts as well, uh, event covers like if you're marketing an open house um, or client appreciation event or something like that, that's what you would use this for. But for what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial, I'm just gonna use the Facebook cover. So when I select Facebook cover, you'll notice that it automatically gives me the proper dimensions for the Facebook cover. And I'm just gonna move this out of the way a little bit. And so what's great about this is you'll notice that this rectangular, this rectangular white shape right here is exactly this shape right here. So the strategy that I like to use is using the edge to draw attention to this call to action button. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, 
they have these templates that you can use. So if you come down here and you're like, man, I really like a template. I want my cover photo to look something like this. Then you could just simply click on it. It would pull that template over here and uh, you could go ahead and use that to create your, um, to create your cover photo. So uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to start from scratch uh, simply because of the nature of what I'm doing. So what I would do is I would come down to the elements section first. And what I want to do is I want to create this uh, kind of a shape right here so that I have some room to be typing, also put the brokerage logo, etc. So what I'm going to come down to is I'm going to come down to the shape section and you could pick a triangle or a square for this. I'm just going to go ahead and use the square. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that square bigger and then I am going to rotate it. So there's the rotation. And so by rotating it, that is how I create um, that, uh, that angle right there, just like you see right here. So I can use it to create whatever angle I want. I'm gonna leave it about there. Um, and then you'll notice that up here I can control the shape. So whatever I have selected, in this case it's that shape, I can come up here and these are the tools to be able to modify that shape. So here is where I would select the, the color for that shape. Just for now, I'm going to turn that black. Um, and then over here, I can copy it. So to make another shape like this, positioning it to whether I'm bringing it behind other layers or bringing it forward on top of other layers. Uh, this will make it transparent. So if you have something behind it, you can have transparent text. Um, basically, anytime you have anything selected in Canva, the tools to modify that shape will show up right here in this toolbar. Uh, now, if I'm creating that, some of the other things that I'm going to need are I'm going to need photos. So I normally upload my own. I know there's this section here for photos, but some of these are free. Some of these you have to pay to use. So it's up to you. You could just come up here, search the photos for like real estate. And then you've got this house. So that one's free. So you could use that if you wanted to see how that one says pro. That means you're going to have to pay to use that image. But since this one says free, we'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and use that one and see how it automatically formats it for that space. Now I can double click and I can kind of shift and move and arrange that how I want. Um, but let's say that I love that and that's where I want it to be. So I could do that. Now I've got this part done. Now it's just a matter of uh, doing the text. So anytime you're doing this, you do want to have your brokerage logo on here, and that's for compliance purposes. Uh, so in most cases, people are going to, re, uh, wherever you're at, the licensing agencies are going to require that it's not a blind ad, that you have your uh, logo on your uh, design. So here is a brokerage logo, and let's just say that that's where I want it. So now I'm with that, I'm in compliance. And then I would just simply add some text. So I could just do something like uh, search all available properties on our website. Now this text, um, oops. Got a few extra things there because I couldn't see what I was typing. Okay, perfect. So search all available properties on our website. And um, again, all of your font changing, so you can change the style of the font here, the size, uh, the color, whether it's bold, italics, left centered, right centered, all the alignments. So again, your typical normal word processing things you'll find here. Um, so Anton is one that I use frequently, so let's just do that. And I'm going to make that text uh, smaller so that it fits. And then I am going to change the text to white so that it's easy to see on that black background. Um, and then we are going to make it fit in this space. So we just simply click and drag and drop and do a little bit of editing so that it fits. And then one of the other things that I like to do is I like to use some arrows to draw attention to that call to action. So that is, sorry, wrong spot. That is fairly simple as well. That is under the elements section. 
And the easiest way that I found is just to type out arrows and it's going to give you some different arrows that you can use. So again, you want to make sure you stay away from these ones that say pro. You want to use the ones that are free. So um, again, you're seeing all different kinds of them. Um, for what we're doing, we don't need anything like curvy or crazy. Um, and so even just something like this would be very easy and simple. Uh, I want it to stand out and draw attention. So I would probably go with red for what I'm doing here. Um, and then with that, we're going to make that arrow smaller. We are going to rotate that arrow so that it is straight up and down just like that. And then we're going to position it down here so that it is pointing. I might make it just a hair smaller so that it is pointing to that button that's going to be right below that. And then with that, I'm going to copy that so that I have another arrow. And then those purple lines means that it is in alignment with that one. And then I'm going to copy that one one more time. And so now I've got three arrows that are going to be pointing to that call to action button that is right below that. So with this, I am, for all intents and purposes, I am done. I would just simply come up here to download, download it as a, uh, a PNG. And then it's just going to ask me where I want to save it on my computer. And that is that. So what is really cool about this is that it allows you to create very, uh, very powerful, you know, images and graphics that you can use for your page. The same process works for creating a Facebook post. Now, the one thing about creating a Facebook post, especially if you're going to be using it for the purposes of running that post as an ad then you need to make sure that the post doesn't have more than 20% text on it. Otherwise, Facebook's going to reject the ad or it's going to limit how many people that they show the ad to. Uh, so you want to make, you make sure you know that. Again, you want to make sure you have less than 20% text on your image uh, if you're creating a Facebook post. And then uh, I'll just share my screen again. Basically, it's the same process, right? Um, so when you're coming here, it's just instead of creating the Facebook cover, you're going to create a Facebook post. And, and it, again, it just works the same process. It's just different dimensions. So whereas this one that we created, um, whereas this one is a long rectangular space, when you do a Facebook post, you'll notice that the dimensions of that are very different. So that's what makes Canva such a powerful tool is just being able to click and drag and drop and edit. And you could see it took me longer to explain what I was doing than to actually do it. And you can create some really cool, really powerful images um, for your social media to be able to generate more leads, get more interest, have people clicking on stuff. Um, and it's really powerful. If you're using this for YouTube, like some of the other trainings and things I've been doing lately on YouTube, uh, it's the same process. Instead of designing something for Facebook, you would just do YouTube. And the two that you'll do most often are these. So the thumbnails for your videos, so that that's what people see when they're searching for videos. And then also the channel art, which is the, uh, it's basically the cover photo for YouTube uh, that shows in the background. And so that is everything, that is really just the, the quick and dirty tutorial for Canva. Like most things, you're gonna learn the most just by clicking and dragging and dropping and messing around and using the tool. But with, the, with what you've seen today, I've shown you how to create a Facebook cover photo that's going to help you generate more leads just by people coming to your page and using that uh, call to action button. So hopefully you found that uh, valuable. Uh, hopefully you found that uh, information helpful. And if so, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, down in the notes below, I'm going to put a couple things. Number one, I'm going to be putting our uh, Facebook ad templates that are producing great results. So if you want to check out some of those things on Facebook that are helping agents generate more leads for their business, uh, go down below, click on that link, and you can download those free templates. Uh, also, I'm going to put a link to our website where you can go and learn more about our paid courses, the things that will help you generate more leads, all of our lead generation courses, marketing to your past clients and sphere of influence where you're going to see tons of results. Uh, all of that is down in the store below. So if you want to learn more, go check those out. 
Uh, also, we do have a coaching program and uh, you can learn more about that where we work with you individually to help you market your business and everything we do there is custom. So if you want to check that out, uh, you'll find out more about our coaching program also inside that link uh, to our store. And then lastly, consider subscribing if you haven't. Uh, again, every single week we're putting out new videos like this that will help you generate more leads, take your marketing to the next level. So we'd love to have you here inside the channel. And then uh, I'm going to be putting up a couple different uh, videos uh, right there that you can use. Uh, just go take a look at other trip, other t other tricks, other strategies, other ways of generating leads for your business. So with that, thank you for being here. Make it a great week. And uh, if we can help you market your business in any way, let us know. Reach out to us. We'd love to have you. Thanks. Take care. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.